This Doxon call is brought to you by Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield and UHS. I'm here with Dr. Luis Rodriguez with UHS Orthopedics and Sports Medicine on Mitchell Avenue in Binghamton to talk about exercise-induced asthma. To start, what is exercise-induced asthma? Well, uh, if you cough, if you have wheezing or shortness of breath during exercise, it, it may be more than just you know being out of shape, or, or it may just be more than exercise causing your symptoms. You may actually have exercise-induced asthma. Should you avoid exercising if you have exercise-induced asthma? Well, actually, no. We like to encourage people to stay active. There are ways to manage and treat exercise-induced asthma so that you can stay active. What are some of the symptoms? Well, you know, people can develop a uh, cough we see shortness of breath shortly after starting exercise or you know several minutes after finishing a workout they can still have some of these symptoms sometimes they come to us because they have poor athletic performance or a decrease in athletic performance what causes this well you know no one's really sure i mean there's, there's plenty of research out there but uh, the causes uh, at this point in time are not exactly clear so, and, and, and also it's not clear where some people get mm -hmm. it and some people don't get it uh, but just like exercise caused by other things it may be triggered by drying or cooling of the airways how do you treat it? Well, for most people, a couple of puffs of a quick relief inhaler, a short acting inhaler, can control the symptoms used 30 minutes before exercise. Uh, if that doesn't control your symptoms, you may need some daily long term medications to get your symptoms under control. Thank you, Dr. Luis Rodriguez with UHS. If you want more information, go to our website, WBNG.com. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, call 584 7362 584 7DOC.